July is Minority Mental Health Month, and with the coronavirus and isolation adding fuel, experts are using people to reach out for help and they're urging people to reach out to help and now next week a retreat behavioral health is hosting a panel event to discuss the mental health yeah joining us today is Lorena Fontenot she is the retreat patient care manager over at retreat behavioral health in Lake Worth Beach thanks for joining us tell us a little bit about this upcoming event and why it's important hi how are you thank you for having me um, it's so important because there is a lot of minorities that have no resources. At Retreat, we want to make sure that these minorities have somewhere and who to call where they feel inclusive, they feel like they can be themselves. We heard that you have a very interesting story to tell and uh, can you share that with us and why do you think it will help others? Absolutely. Um, I moved here when I was 12 from Guayaquil, Ecuador. Um, I also myself struggled with uh, substance abuse and mental health. And um, due to my addiction and mental health issues, I fell in a very deep, deep low and I ended up being incarcerated. Um, so as not only a in, undocumented immigrant when I got here, but also as, uh, as someone who has been in the prison system. Um, I want to give hope to those that have been in my shoes that we don't have to be just another statistic. Um, we can also rise and we have resources out there that are able to help us. There's really a negative stigma around mental health in our nation. What needs to change? Is it just the attitude? Um, Personally, what I choose to do to get rid of that stigma is, you know, lead by example. There's always going to be a positive and a negative in this world. That's just how the world works, unfortunately. However, if I can be that voice and I can say, well, I've, I'm an immigrant and I also have been incarcerated, you know, but now look at me, I am helping those in recovery and I'm doing the right things to be a productive member of society than anybody else can do it. And we were just looking at some photos with you and your family. Uh, so how do family members play a key role in facing mental health? Well, my family has been extremely supportive. Um, of me being in recovery and because of all of my mental health issues not only um have they been supportive but they've also you know been involved in my recovery and they have helped um you know for me to keep growing yeah it's really important to have a good support staff uh as you struggle through any of that and that's important to remind families lorena thank you so much for joining us you can learn more about her by uh, uh on their web page it's uh is it retreatbehavioralhealth.com is that right yes sir all right thank you lorena appreciate it